Hi guys, welcome to and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be taking part in the 2.6 challenge by running 26 minutes and 20 seconds around the lovely Addison Park for charity and I'll be uh, donating £2.60 after I've completed it just to play my part in the whole situation going on at the moment. Um, yeah, so I'll be choosing a charity, not too sure what it is yet, but when I do I'll be putting it up on the screen now. I'll be making my decision on what it is very, very soon. So yeah, I've just done a little uh, quick warm-up jog and I've got down here and I'm just going to do some uh, little dynamic stretches, some activate to activate my muscles and then I'll get on the run. Okay then guys, just finished my warm up and all ready to go. Done a few dynamic stretches and all ready. Okay, so I've got it set on my watch for 26 minutes and 20 seconds. I'm gonna go around uh, anti-clockwise today. No, I'm not. I'm going around clockwise because I usually go anti-clockwise, so I thought just change things up a bit. Okay, so here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Started the watch. 26 minutes and 20 seconds to go. Okay, so just there. Let me down in the comments below. Are you doing anything for charity at the moment? Because obviously there's a lot of different events going on in different places, just sort of, just to play their part in everything going on. Just to uh, show a little bit of love in the community. Because, yeah, we all want to do that, don't we? So yeah, I know people are doing the 2.6 challenge. Uh, people are donating things, uh, like I know Kenny Sibakili and Elliot Kipchoge, they both, donated uh, their, uh, what's it called, their uh, vests to a uh, charity, they uh, put them in for an auction and they uh, people bidded for them and all that money was going to a charity, I'm not too sure what it is, I'll find that out for you. So yeah, let me know what you're doing, I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, just finished the first K516 I believe it was and we got 20 minutes and 43 seconds left. So yeah, time fastly, very fast ticking away. Just going by where I do the majority of my hill repeats. So hopefully we'll be back at that soon. So yeah, uh, don't know if you, what you guys know, but a couple of, well, about a week ago, I was, uh, out of running, I injured my Achilles, my right, on the my right side. Not too sure what happened, it just became really, really tight. And it was after I did my 10% uh, video of how to use the 10% rule. I'll leave that up in the top right hand corner of this video right now. Check that out. And yeah, just didn't feel good at all. I ran one mile and it was, I thought everything had recovered, but clearly not. So, just obviously need to give it a bit more time and I'm back at it. I'm not really doing any hard sessions yet. I'm just taking everything nice and easy and just slowly but surely building up my fitness so I can get back to it. I'm not too sure what my plan is. I bought a uh, training plan uh, just recently and it's for the uh, 10 kilometer distance uh, to get in my sub 40, which is quite a challenge, put it that way. Uh, let me just cut this road because I don't want to get all noisy. Okay, so yeah, uh, yeah, I ran it the other day in 41 minutes, I think it was. Uh, yeah, I put my actual time up on the screen and that was max out effort. I thought I could run sub 40, but clearly not. But for me, that was a pretty good PB to be honest because I ran and my PV was about 46 and then I got it down to about 41 something and yeah so it wasn't too bad maybe I just need to give it a bit more time I may not need any training for the sake of one and a bit minutes but yeah we'll see how late you know what my plan is I may just go out and do some easy runs and just enjoy it and take you along with me a bit more and just give it a break from the training for the rest of this year maybe because obviously I can't get down to the track which I was planning to do in the summer. Yeah. Okay then guys, just run through uh, with 15 minutes to go at 2.13 kilometers on the watch. 
So yeah, just a uh, nice easy pace for me today, as I said, because of my injury. Yeah, and I'm really enjoying this. I thought it would be dragged out a bit and it would take forever. But actually, once you get out and you've got this lovely scenery of the park, it's actually really enjoyable. Yeah. Uh, this park's got quite a bit of history actually as you can see over there that's Addison Howard House which they're currently uh, revamping because it's uh, been kind of falling apart for the past 10 years yeah so it got donated uh, during the war because you've got this ditch here because this all used to be farmland and then it got changed into a park and donated to Kempston so yeah it's a lovely park to go around and not just because of the scenery, but because of the history behind it as well. And yeah, you can learn quite a lot by just going online. So yeah. No. Oh, 13 minutes, 45 seconds left. Not too long. So I wish I didn't put on this jumper, because it's very, very warm. I haven't actually worn this jumper since I did my uh, Queen Elizabeth 5K run through. Need to get back at doing some more events. I was planning on doing several park runs throughout the year because uh, we've got a caravan, you get out in the caravan and do some videos. But yeah, hopefully, if we're out of uh, isolation for the next two months, there'll still be a few of them coming up featuring in this channel. Okay then guys, just got under 5 minutes, 4.45 and I want to finish around about here so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to turn around and it, uh, I'm sure nobody will mind Yeah, I actually just came across uh, some rather, not to be rude, but some very moody, a very moody couple who uh, seems to think they own the path um, So yeah, I was walking around running past and they were I started shouting at me, telling, telling me I'll take out the path. Meanwhile, they were, uh, three of them was there in one straight line, take out the path. So yeah, I don't think I was doing anything wrong there. There we go. Maybe people just need to find out what the rules are, but I won't complain anymore. Uh, as long as it makes them happy, for whatever reason. There we go. Here we go, less than 10 seconds, 7, 6, let's finish with smile, 3, 2, 1, there we go, oh, that was a lot of fun, by the way that's my new hashtag, finish with smile, it's kind of a bit of play on words because it sounds like you're finishing with style, but you're finishing with smile which is a similar thing isn't it, so yeah I'll maybe one day if this channel builds and when I start making a bit of money from it, so if you smash that like button and you subscribe the, the sooner this will happen when I get to a thousand subscribers I may start bringing out some products so I could get some wristbands in maybe some hats as well uh, they're my two ideas at the moment not too sure but we'll have to think about that maybe some buffs as well and s even socks whatever but uh, I think about that just let me down in the comments below if you want that s subscribe and then let me know what you want and then hopefully we'll get there sooner the better we're closing in on 100 subscribers really looking forward to that so yeah here we go 26 20 on the watch bang on the dot so yeah i'll put the uh the uh, results will be up on strava um, my strava name is oscars running just like all of my other uh instagram and twitter and facebook so yeah oh, hope you enjoyed that video uh so like I said, subscribe, turn on the notification bell and share with your friends and family so you can build up a nice big community here. So yeah, thank you very much everyone and I'll see you in my next video.